Hello again. In this video, I call it the housekeeping video because I would like to teach you how to set up some functions that you may not use every day, including installing license key, uh, using the text editor, putting on protection on your preset so you need to engage a password, saving and, and copying of presets, and also in case you forget your password, how you recover from that situation. So the first thing I will be doing is that I will call up one of the presets we have been working with before. I take the 5 plus 1 preset. Last time we edited some channels and the preset name is really not appropriate anymore. So what I can do, I can go to the preset name and I can right click on the key. When I call up, I call up the editor. And I want to backspace because I want to change the name to say 2 plus 5.1 and uh, space is di and maybe I also want to integrate that just show that uh, I'm using short-term loudness at the same time. So I save that label and I quit. And you can see that label is now um, sitting here. And uh, so that is available. One of the things I can also do is that I can copy that preset because I have another preset that is quite similar but the channel order is different. You can see the left, right is to the end and I really want them to be at the front. And I don't want to uh, do the preset all over. So I call up the original preset. I call up the editor. I move the cursor down to the preset I want to overwrite and press the save key. And you can see that preset is now exactly the same. Press quit. And if I select these two presets are exactly the same. Now I can do the editing of this preset, change the name uh, to reflect what I want. When I'm done, I will press the save key. And you'll see on that save icon over here in the corner, it will take us a couple of seconds for the system to save it. And then it will be my power up. So what I can do now is that I can take the power from my unit, get back, and the system will recover in approximately 10 seconds. That's the time it takes, but while it's recovering, uh, it's showing you the please wait at uh, this color bar it's coming from elsewhere and then you have the picture back so this is the way that you want to determine the preset you want the system to power up in and uh, the settings if you want to protect it you can do that if you touch the logo you call up a password editor. When the system is delivered, the password will be 000, efficiently meaning that you have no password engaged. So that means all the menus will be open. But if I change that, for instance, say QVR, QVR, and I save it, it's locked. Backspace it. Now it's unlocked. So you can see the password is working and I close this menu either by touching the header or the quit key. And I want to save that. So this is saving. And I take the power and power again. 
wait for the system to boot. There's no hard disk. Everything is based in a flash memory. So uh, it's really quick to boot. So it's back. Now, if I want to change something, go into the setup menu, I will be prompted for the password. So it will be locked. If I want to ch assign keys, I right click here, it will be locked. So it's very limited what I can do, so the user is not able to change much, except for what you have already determined, wh which key you want to be available on the key strips, both vertical and horizontal. So if you take the strips away and only leave a few keys, uh, it's really limited. The way to unlock it is, of course, to go in, backspace, type in, the done key and you can see now it's unlocked. If I want to change it back to zero 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 I do that. It's a good thing to do while you can remember it. And uh, so it's unlocked. I'm back and of course I have to remember to save it. It's a good practice to keep a copy of your unit and you can clone your unit by going to our website on the online updater and you uh, engage the updater and you select the menu point called advanced and um, you will have find a menu point called clone instrument and with that function you simply take a copy of your whole setup including password and everything, and save it to a file. That file can later on be imported in the same unit or into another unit. So if you want to have exact clones of the same unit, you can put that into another unit. Okay, the next thing that you will be faced with is that you will be, uh, when you want to upgrade, for instance, with the um, time-saving loudness automation or the uh, multi-channel locking, you will be faced uh, with a problem that you need to engage the license key. The way you do that is you do that through the setup menu. So you go to the setup menu, you unfold the about folder, where you can see some important details about the, us, the company and how to contact us unfold the system and we go to the software folder and you can see the release date of the software unfold that folder and you see three license keys one is the m main license key for the unit don't have to care too much about that then you have two license key one for the automation uh, time saving automation and one for the loudness plots so if I click on that, you can see I will be the same way as for, for the password protection prompted to uh, engage a license key. So I can simply backspace that and save it and uh, you will have that function available. So you have to, to uh, contact either DK Technologies or your your local representative to obtain the license key. That's the end of the basic housekeeping uh, video.